Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, I would like to show you how to automate Python script execution on GCP. And for that, we'll use three main services, which are Cloud Functions, PubSub, and Cloud Scheduler. And I will do it in both ways, with Graphical Interface and GCloud CLI. So let's go through the architecture overview that I will be creating in order to show you how to chain together those services. So we start with Cloud Scheduler. Cloud Scheduler publishes a PubSub message on a schedule. This message is published to the PubSub topic. A cloud function is triggered and it executes the Python script. Script generates the data and saves the results to Cloud Storage and BigQuery. In BigQuery, this new data overrides the table. And in Cloud Storage, new data is saved as a CSV file in Cloud Storage bucket with appropriate suffix for data versioning. OK, so let's start with the graphical interface approach. And the very first step is that we need to create a topic inside the PubSub. So let me name the topic Cloud Function Trigger. Uh, I'm deselecting all the options. And that's it here. Next, I need to go to the Cloud Functions. I need to create a function. So I'm using the first generation environment. Function name, let it be Cloud Function GUI. Uh, I also need to change the trigger to PubSub. And for the topic, as you might have guessed, I just need to use the uh, topic which I just created. Let me click Save. Next, uh, for the runtime, as I mentioned in the at the beginning of the video, we want to run the Python script. So let's select the runtime which has a Python. And for the source co code, I will use zip from Cloud Storage. So that's my file, and I can I can hit the deploy button. And now, as I will be waiting for this function to be deployed, let me walk you through the Python code that I've just deployed to this cloud function. All right, so inside of my zipped file, I have two other files. First one is requirements.txt, which keeps all the necessary libraries that Cloud Function needs to install. And the second one, which is basically uh, the main part of, of my function, is called main.py. And let me walk you through it. So first, I'm doing some necessary imports. So as you can see here, I'm doing the imports from some of the libraries that I um, added to the requirements.txt. Of course, the, the basic libraries will be available, like uh, base64 or daytime. Next, I'm defining some variables for uh, the cloud functions. So if you would like to run this code on your own uh, GCP project, you, of course, will have to adjust those. Next, I have a function which generates the data. It's called generate underscore data. And at the beginning, it generates a random um, pandas data frame then it, it gets basically gets the current time and this time is used to create appropriate suffix for the uh, file name which will be saved inside the cloud storage and uh, that part uploads the csv file to cloud storage and the next part uploads the csv file from cloud storage to bigquery and then at the very uh, at the very end of the file, I'm making an API request just to uh, display number of loaded rows. So that's my function generate data. And next, I have a function uh, called hello underscore pubsub, which is an um, entry point for this um, cloud function actually. So it means that each time the um, cloud function will be triggered. Um, this function will be actually run. So at the beginning, it takes the uh, message from the PubSub, it uh, prints uh, the message from the PubSub, and then it runs the function uh, generate data. 
So yeah, that's it. And uh, you will have access to all of that. But please remember that in order to run it, you just need to adjust those uh, variables, which are at the beginning of the main.py file. All right, so right now my cloud function has been successfully deployed. So now I can do the next step, which is basically creating a schedule inside the cloud scheduler. So here I'm inside uh, of the cloud scheduler. Let me click this button to schedule a job. Let me name it CF daily GUI. Uh, for the frequency, I will do something like that. Um, time zone, we'll just select the UTC. Uh, so, yeah. United Kingdom. Mm, all right. Next, um, let's configure the execution. So here we need to select a PubSub. We need to uh, select a PubSub topic. So again, that's the one which we created at the beginning of this video. And then for the uh, message of the body, it doesn't really matter, but just for us to be able to recognize this, let me uh, put something like that. Starting automatic execution triggered by cloud scheduler job. Let's hit the create. And we've just create um, a cloud scheduler um, job that will run on the uh, re recurrent basis. But if we want to test the function right away, we can click on the job itself. We can click the force run. So it will publish a message to appropriate topic. And right now, the cloud function should be triggered. So let's go back to the cloud function. Let's click on it. Let's see the logs. So we see that function execution has started. And after a few seconds, it has been successful. So right now, let's go and see if, if we can actually prove that it was uploaded to the cloud storage. So here I am inside of my cloud function data and cloud storage um, folder. So let me refresh. And as you can see, the example data has been updated or uploaded actually. Now let me go to the big query and the data should be inside of the test uh, data set. So let's refresh. Let me refresh contents. Yes. And now we can see that there is um, the example data table. All right. So that would be it for the GUI approach. And right now we'll jump to the approach with the gcloud CLI. For the gcloud CLI part, I will be using a managed notebook instance on Vertex AI, but you are free to choose anything. I decided to use this service as I don't have to manually authenticate with gcloud CLI. All right. So in order to create the architecture that I was describing, we basically need to run those four commands. So let's go step by step. First, we'll create a pub sub topic. So let me copy and paste it. And this will create a topic which is called cloud function trigger CLI. So let's run it. And in a second, this should be successful and present us with the message that it has been created. Right. So now let's go to the pops up and let's refresh the page. And as you can see, this new topic has, has been created. So the next thing that we want to do is to create a cloud function itself. So let me copy this command and paste it here. And let me start the code execution. And in the meantime, um, as it can take some some um, more time, as it says up to two minutes, let me discuss what are the 
actually what, what are the required flags. So first you need to point the uh, trigger topic. So in our case, we are using the uh, PubSub topic, which we created before. Uh, you need to specify the source. So for the source, I'm using my zipped file from the Google Cloud Storage. And inside this uh, zipped file, there are two other files, main.py and requirements.txt. And I was describing them in the previous part of this tutorial. Next, we are selecting a runtime. So for that one, uh, we of course want to select a Python. And the last but not least, we need to specify the entry point, which in our case is hello pubsub. And that's generally the function which will be called from our main.py script. So if I scroll all the way down here, there, there's this function. So right now we can go back and see whether it has been created. As you can see, it's still deploying. So we will be back once it's finished. All right, after some time, it has been successful. You can see its status, it's active. And now let's go to the cloud functions. And here you can see that we have a new function with the name and, and the appropriate uh, topic that we selected. So now the next step will be to create a cloud scheduler job. So let's go to our commands and let me copy and paste it to the terminal. And this should be rather fast, as you can see. And there are just a few arguments that, that are actually needed to be specified. So I specified schedule, location, uh, the topic. So, so the topic is, of course, the same as we created with the uh, first uh, command and the um, message body. So this has been um, scheduled, but we don't want to run it. Uh, we don't want to wait for the next run in order to test the function. We would like to uh, test it right now. So we can do it with this command. So let me copy and paste it here. So right now, uh, this has been uh, triggered. So let's go to the cloud scheduler. And as you can see, we have a new uh, cloud scheduler job, which is CF daily CLI. And as you can see, it has been already run because we um, manually force it to run. So right now we can go to our cloud functions, uh, which is uh, generate data CLI. Let's go to the logs. And we should see the details about the previous execution of our function. So at the very bottom, you can see that uh, the function execution has been successful. So let's go to the um, cloud storage bucket. Let me refresh it. You can see the, the file has appeared. And also inside of the BigQuery, uh, this table should be uh, refreshed. So yeah, the, the time from the last modified has been changed. All right, so this concludes the tutorial. I showed you how to automate Python script execution on GCP with those free services using graphical interface and the gcloud CLI. You can find the GitHub repo with the code in the description. Feel free to use it and experiment yourself. Thank you for watching.